Hello and welcome to the final episode of Doom 2 Hell on Earth. This is the Hell episode. As you can see, the sky texture at the top has changed once again to reflect this. And this first level that we're going to be going into is called Nirvana. <laughs> start off with plenty of health around and we're going to go through the right level first be aware of spectres and shotgun guys from all around I like to let them come to me early hell levels, from what I remember, are quite abstract. There are uh, a couple of revenants in here. Just yeah, abstract in uh, level design. Get that switch, that lowers that. Listen, like, they're not very believable places as such. Yeah. Some major, there's a, you can see, texturing error there. Alright, hit all of these switches. And then you can go run over and get the rocket launcher. Alright. I was expecting him to go through the teleporter. Oh well. It's usually just the imps that do that. Okay, that's up. Okay. <clears throat> So much ammo and health in this level. Well, it's not actually that difficult a level. Um, hit this switch. We have access to the beginning room again. Um, this teleporter takes you back out to the shotgun area, I think, so we've got to go through this one. We'll worry about that switch later. Um, a bit like the factory level, we're going to be going through this teleporter and there's imps all around us, so I think. No, it's got to be shotgun time. Yes. There's paint. There's going to be imps in uh, a layer around us, and then there's a couple of pain elementals like a further layer out. So I'm going to try and get to those pain elementals and deal with them first. Could have gone a little better, but still. So the yellow key is here, and a backpack. And... There you are. Right, so if you hit this switch, run back into the teleport, and then just run forward, that's how you get the Megasphere. Like so. Okay, we're going to go through this teleporter now. I'm going to use the, uh, the yellow bars here as cover and try and pick out as many, pick out, pick off, as many of the imps as I can. You've got to be aware of the projectiles that are being lobbed in your direction at all times. Especially those Hell Knight projectiles because they are quite damaging.
next. This doesn't seem like it's such a good idea to shoot rock in this range. I'm not sure if it's going to fit this gap. Luckily, the shotgun with its horizontal spread means that it's a fairly good weapon for long ranges. If only I have more chain gun ammo, which we will actually get around the corner. Okay. Let them fire off a few rounds. And step back in. Still alive? Yay. Of course it is. Out for a whole load of chain gunners around here. Okay. All right, that's every enemy. So there's some rockets here. Effectively, these blue barriers are useless because you can just step through them, but I'm going to try and get everything anyway. So, switch, get the red key here. There's a radiation suit over there. And then every island that the imps were on has a rocket. Most of them do. So, including the man cubus. And the blue keys up here. Ability here. Just picking them up because I'm not going to be need needing them later. So, through the blue barrier, through the red barrier. I'm just going to go back and get some ammo, since there's so much shell ammo earlier. <laughs> There we go. Nirvana is complete. On to the catacombs. There's uh, quite a few chain gunners in this room uh, just to the right of where you start. So easiest to take them out from this side. Two in one shot. I think that's all of them. Yep. There's a spectre in here. And a demon on this thing, this left. Soul Sphere and stuff in there, but I'm going to come back to that, hopefully, if I remember. So as you can see, the green flame... Um, let's go here. But I'm going to come back to that area. So I want to be able to pick off the enemies from up here. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. So now I can go back down again. Because this teleporter will take us to the middle, I think. Yes. Cell pack for now. Um, come on, come on. 
Okay. Radiation suit, we're going to go this way first. Switch. And then you can go to the berserk. Nothing really notable. Apart from them staring at that guy. Blue key. Rocket launcher. Uh, yeah, I may as well get the other suit. Some demons down here. Shut up. Okay. Right. This switch opens the barrier. See you there. Right. Um, if you go around this corner, this wall here will open up and reveal a few chain gunners, so be careful with that. Okay. Just as soon as you approach it. That just opens the barriers again, I think. There's a Baron of Hell through there. <laughs> Just hit that switch on the left to get the red key. Now you can go this way and come back out there or step through here. It takes you to where the plasma gun was before. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna run over and kill the last remaining enemies, and I'll be going back for that soul sphere. Because you know, Sod's Law, if I went for the soul sphere before, one of them was gonna manage to get their hit off just like there. Right. <coughs> Okay, not many enemies on that level. Barrels of fun. This is a interesting level. Basically, where the flaming barrel is over there, you've got to run your way through to the other side of the this large hallway because there's a man cubus right here who eventually will shoot and set off a chain reaction. So, hmm. Let's hope we can do this. And there it goes. I'm now going to step back out. dealing with these enemies now so it's not so, so overwhelming later. Plenty of shells around here as well if you need ammo and a shotgun at the very end. Uh, yeah. Should be right. Okay. Here, surrounded by more barrels, chain gunners in every little niche going down the corridor so I like to just run to the end and shoot a barrel. Setting off another reaction. Most of these should be almost dead now, so... Alright, some goodies. Now there's some more pain elementals through here, so BFG time. the flaming barrels as um, lost soul obstacles. Okay. 
Now we've got a whole load of demons to take on. <laughs> Stand up here, use this as like a wall, these torches. There's some chain gunners in each of the little alcoves. Okay. And there's an arc vial in that alcove there, so... Because I can jump, I'm just going to try and get some of these chain guns. Because I'm an ammo hoarder. Oh, alternatively, just... Yeah, this is where we need to be anyway, so... Take out some imps around here. Should take them out from here because as soon as you step into this uh, little cave-like thing that they're in, it reveals more monsters, which will hear you and subsequently start coming after you. Um, I think there's one more imp that we're going to have to make a noise for anyway. There we are. Okay. Spider Mastermind. Come on, stop fighting. Okay. Spider Mastermind will probably win. Cool. And here, it's a soul spin. Uh, yeah. Through the teleporter. I'm just going to quickly get out the chain gun. Right, there's an arc file and some revenants. Oh, God damn it. More Arachnotrons and quite a lot of demons. I'm going to go back and get some more rockets. This definitely isn't the quickest way to go about playing this game. What did I just do that for? But I'm just too much of an ammo hoarder to leave that single rocket box there. 
Two last chain gunners in this next room, but quite a lot of barrels. Got to go to the left teleporter here. You can run down here, but I just, you know, when you're in here, it's still a bit vulnerable because the barrels are in front of you. And that's that level.